So I do need to talk to you about Gage and how he yeah, kind of yeah. unleashed. Well, huh. first of all, there might have been a few more words exchanged between mm. myself and the headmistress. Um, she said that uh, because of uh, as people were finding out what happened, that she was going to have to deal with this um, pretty swiftly and quietly. And I said, quietly? You think this is going to be handled quietly you might as you might want to change have your strategy met, here have you listened to channel 102 lately right i'm like oh. you kicking my kid out of school and you think this is going to be quiet this is just totally <laughs> swept under the rug so she might have perceived that as a threat so when gage got on the oh. phone when it wasn't a threat it was just a fact i was just i guess it is a no fact. but she might not have really thought about that yeah. well she said well i said i do not accept this when she said, I said, I do not accept this, and I think you need to take two days to think about this. <laughs> I did say that. I did say that. You did it. I did. <laughs> I said, we should. We need to talk on Monday. We're I gonna, want we're you to write, circle back. how can I have handled this better 100 times? We're going to regroup. We're I literally like flipped it. I like flipped the script because I was like, yeah. I don't accept that. And you need to take two days to think about this. <laughs> she needed to reframe. Yes. Well, we're going to get there. <laughs> so then Gage no lost his shit. Yeah. And he's like, and I had to explain it to him, you know, I had to explain it to him like via text. And he's like, what? And he's like, give me her number. Give me her number. And I'm like, um, everything's already been said. And uh, I don't think she's going to change her mind at this point. Because remember, had it had gone bad. Like the right, conversation right. went bad when I broke character after I started laughing about the backroom yeah, key party. Yeah, but there's always good cop, bad cop. So Gage is like, send me that number now. So I sent him the number and then he called me and he's like, did you threaten her? And I said, no, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> get, and, get me a stapler. Get me a stapler. I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. No, of course I didn't threaten her. And um, so then Gage was really, really upset, and he did yell at me, and he did say some things that he probably regrets now. And um, I tried, so what I was doing is I tried to really channel Megan Weaver during the whole Ann Yang controversy. Oh. Like, this isn't, this isn't happening. Right. It's, not re it's, it's not real. It's not happening. <laughs> and so everything's fine. I said, you know what, Gage? I just think this is all for the best. I think it's all for the best. You need, and, and this is, was probably, I shouldn't have said this. I said, you really need to reframe. <laughs> Don't fucking tell me to reframe. And then he hung up on me. And then I wrote, Gage, this is happening for you, <laughs> not, not to, to you. you. <laughs> And he wrote, fuck off in caps. Yeah, I don't blame him. I don't blame him on that one. That is such an insulting <laughs> PC yeah, totally. thing to say. Yeah. We need to re You need to reframe <laughs> this. I said, you know what? I never liked that school anyway. He's like, you are so delusional. You are trying to justify your actions. And I said, no, I've told you I've complained about this school since parent night.